All right, it's tomorrow. Let's get the rest of these things made and clean up my desk. It's supposed to fit tight. All right, can you get the last screws in there? Can I help? Can right. help? While you're doing that, I'm going to clean up the mess. Okay, all four of those are looking good. Each one is four inches or roughly 10 centimeters across, just over 10 centimeters. So I can put that into my little drawing here and then figure out the rest. And for the love of bananas, can it stop raining already? Jeez. Okay, four Imperial Noodle units each. Great. We got the four there. Where's my black crayon? Right. We got four there, got four there, mm, somewhere around here, somewhere around here. So, four, 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 uh, that's 16 noodle units, so 62 minus 16 is, okay, 46. Imperial noodle units left to divide between pedals, paddle wheel, and pedals. Paddle wheel, pedal wheel. Okay. Uh, what size do I want everything? Okay, the space in the paddle wheel, he paddle wheel here can actually count some of this. So there will be something here to hold this and something there to hold that. And this can stick into the paddle wheels area because the paddle wheel can be attached like so with fatter paddle wheels up here. So those can overhang past the, the edge of the bearings because they they're not near them. Okay, on my green boat out there, I just went to measure it. The distance here is 21. So if I make this 21 and that 21, that's 42. Which leaves me four inches left. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna have to make this smaller. Alright. Alright. 18 noodle units wide. It'd be big enough for a foot to get on there. Yeah. Alright. If I go 18 here and 18 noodle units over there. That leaves me 10 in the middle here between those, but then my paddle wheel can be, I don't know, it can go a couple inches into each one of these, so maybe 14 inches wide. Imperial noodle unit set, that's, that's plenty for a paddle wheel. I want to have a bit of clearance. So yeah, if I have a, a 10 noodle unit wide paddle, I'll have a bit of space on each side so it doesn't hit the the wall or whatever this stuff is here. All right, I think that works. Okay, my other boat has eight noodle unit uh, pedals, what do you do? That length there. And I like that. And on one side it has eight and the other side it has six. So 
so shorter people can use the other side. So maybe I should do the same thing, or should I just do eight on both sides? Because eight's good. Is that the idea for the pedals? Yeah, okay, so should I make both sides eight noodle unit long pedals? Yeah. All right, sounds great. Let's do it. Make this side eight as well. I guess that's kind of everything I need to start cutting pipes and start putting. Okay, when I put a pipe in here, it goes in right up to this line here. And from that line to the center here is about three quarters of a noodle unit. So whenever, I, whenever I'm measuring something and it's coming from the center here over, I have to take three quarters of an inch off the end of my pipe. And then, you know, off the end of this one too. So the, the pipe that goes through here and that I need to measure from that spot to this spot, take one and a half imperial noodle units off the length and then it should be the right size once it's on these. All right, on the one of these that's on the outside where there's just a bearing here, I should be able to fit this inside the bearing give me an extra, extra bit of space you know, even with the fiberglass wrapped around here. However, on the other end, the end that needs to be stronger right here, I'm gonna want a lot of fiberglass around this and I'm not sure it's gonna be able to fit in there. So I can make it so this doesn't go there, but then I lose some space right there. It's just dead space, right? So I'm thinking, just for these two corners, I need to do something that's less this. And some, just something that takes up less, less unneeded space. Maybe, maybe if I get a smaller piece, I can put it inside the pipe. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit, let's check. Yeah, so if I can find, yeah, that doesn't fit. But if I can find something that'll fit inside the pipe, then I'll just have the thickness of this, which will leave cl plenty of clearance of fiberglass before the bearing piece. The other option is to get a thinner inner wall here. Well, that seems like more of a pain in the butt than doing something with these joints. All right, let me see if I can either file this down or find something that fits in there. Well, I'm not finding anything that'll make a good joint here, so I might just get my candle out melt the pipe and do what I did on my old thing and just make you know, this all one piece. Just make sure I melt good 90 degree angles there. And then I'm gonna have to cut it in the middle to be able to get those bearings on, but that'll be easy to fiberglass back together, so yeah. Well, the end of this pipe has a, you know, a flare out to make a joint to another pipe, so I can use that in the middle there. So make that joint like right in here. Because the bearings can fit over that. So when I fiberglass this whole thing, I just fiberglass right up to that joint and fiberglass this right up to here. Then I can put the bearings on and then fiberglass this solid before putting the paddle wheel on. I'll worry about that later. All right, I think that's pretty good. So right now I need to make this piece and this piece. Let's start with this one. If I can do a good job on that, yeah, the rest should be a piece of cake. I need to make sure there's enough space in here that when I get the fiberglass in here and in there and then put the bearings on, I still have enough space to fiberglass over all this and overlap the old fiberglass enough that it's gonna be strong. So the space between here is 10 noodle units. So that's this, and that joint is about that wide. I can even cut it down a little. But yeah, that means between the old stuff and new stuff I put on, I have at least, I should be able to get at least four inches of overlap. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, okay, this piece here, it needs to be five noodle units here, 
plus a little bit of overhang for the joint. So let's make that six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then between the edge of the bearing and the center of the joint, one and a half noodle units, so 10, 11 and a half. Right. And then up here, I don't know, I'll leave, I'll leave a little bit extra. So after I do this joint, you know, it's gonna screw up the measurement so I can just cut it down to the right thing. So, uh, oh crap, what was that, 11 and a half, and then I'll put, I don't know, 10 up here. And I'll cut that down a little once I get it melted. 11 and a half plus 10 is 21 and a half. I always think it's funny how long it takes to get the first measurement. And then everything after that's a piece of cake. Well, a lot of times people get stuck at the beginning because the, the, the first measurement on a lot of things is always the, by far the hardest one to figure out. Um, and I think what a lot of people don't realize is if you just get that first measurement, then, then like a lot of other stuff is already basically done. Well, I want to cut off some of this right there too. Right. The, the joint does not need to be that long. Yeah, that's good enough for a joint, and let's just double check. It's in there, no problem. All right, 11 and a half noodle units in. I need to make a 90 degree bend right there. Okay, a 90 degree thing here to measure. Yeah, I guess let's go. This is a thick wall pipe, so this is going to take a few minutes. I'm going to melt it right, right around where that line is. Using my table here is a pretty good angle. I need to keep that. I love Preston. Yeah, you can do whatever you want right now. <laughs> you taking care of the bearings for me while I... You have two. You have one, Amy. You have one. I have two. I have two. Well, I'm going to need all four of those at some point. <laughs> yeah, I just have to hold this for a few more minutes till it hardens. And hope no kids do anything crazy while I'm trapped here. Why did you bend it? Because I need it to be 90 degrees. Oh, why were you putting it over the fire? I was putting it over the fire to melt the plastic so that I could bend it oh. without breaking it. Oh. And now when it cools down, it will stay in this shape. Pretty cool, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh no, what's that baby getting into? Hey baby, don't lose all my wrenches. Why did, hey, you're not supposed to be down there. Leave my tools, put them back. Oh, I'm trapped. Don't attack her, don't make her scream. Yeah, put it back where it goes. Okay, good. You can get a pop out of one. Oh. All right, seems pretty good. We have guns Definitely down strong enough to hold its shape until I get the I fiberglass all in here. And plenty of clearance for fiberglass around this pipe and still be able to get the bearing on. Good. Well, that worked really well. Okay. Now I just need to make the uh, partner for this one. All right. The one that goes in here, I'll leave that a little bit longer than it needs to be too because when that'll be the last joint I put together and I can trim it to be exact. Right. So instead of making the next one 21.5, I'll just make it 24. Leave a bit extra there and an extra there. All right, two of those. I want eight noodle units from the center of this to the center of this. <clears throat> well, the center of this here. So I need to measure up eight from the center of that to there, except I need to take off three quarters of a noodle unit. Right there. 
I get something other than a crayon. Alright, when I put that on, it should be 8 to 8. Yep. Alright, if I cut that right, I should put this on. Put it on all the way, it should be. Eight noodle units from the center of that to the center of that. Oh, that's like pretty much right on. Okay, the clearance between the center line here and the bearing, if that's one and a quarter noodle units, that'll be enough space. So this is 18 total across. So if I take off one and a quarter noodle units off each side, then I've got 18 minus two and a half, 15 and a half. From the center of that to the center of that, 15.5, so seven and three quarters, is that right? Seven and three quarters between there. So each, each pedal, seven and three quarters from center to center. Let me just double check my math. Yeah, I think that's right. So seven and three quarters is the length from the center here to the center on the next pipe over like the center there. So the pipe in here needs to be seven and three quarters minus one and a half. Um, six and a quarter? Yeah, so you need to make a six and a quarter inch piece to fit in there. Let me double check that. All right, six and a quarter. Oh, that's a tiny bit short. Oh, a tiny bit short's all right. I just need to not shove it in all the way then. One in all the way. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I screwed up because this was supposed to be eight inches across. Then I looked at my stupid drawing and remembered, oh yeah, seven and three quarters. Yeah, this is dead on. Good. <clears throat> okay, the length from here to the center is eight noodle units. So all the way to the other end of the pedal will be 16 minus three quarters, three quarters, one and a half minus one and a half, 16 minus one and a half. 14 and a half noodle units. Okay. Just got one of those. Okay, 14.5. And center of that one. The center of this one. Line from the mold. Oh crap. I'll just throw it. No, that's good, right there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. 16 inches. Beauty. That one was the same as that one. It was a six and a quarter. I don't know, I cut it at the same time. So this one needs to be six and a half because it's eight total minus one and a half and one and a half. Right, six and a half. And then hopefully that will make a piece that lines up perfectly with that one. Or close enough. All right, that's eight noodle units right there. And let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sweet. That looks pretty good. And then on the end, I just need any, any garbage piece. This is going to get trimmed anyway. All right, there's one side.